A list of the parts needed can be found on the Launcher Build Guide found on teachergeek.com under Documents. For this kit, you will need a pair of our Teacher Geek multi cutters, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. Components and free documents for this activity are available at teachergeek.com. The Teacher Geek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our Teacher Geek multi cutter. But don't use the multi cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our Teacher Geek components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. The first step is to take a dowel. Cut it at 6 inches, so then you'll have two dowels that are both 6 inches long. Take one of your cut dowels and place it into a perpendicular block. Then slide your perpendicular block down 10 millimeters, which is about 3 eighths of an inch. Then take your dowel with the perpendicular block and slide it into the corner hole of the hole plate. Next, take your 1 inch screw and place it in the perpendicular block. Give it a little twist to get it started. Then go ahead and screw it into the opposite hole from where you placed your dowel. Make sure the screw is tightened all the way down. Then go ahead and add a number 10 nut on the bottom. We recommend that on your full dowels you use crayon, soap, or wax on them. It'll make the next step a lot easier. Take your full dowel and place it into the perpendicular block, and then slide it down a good portion of the way. Then go ahead and place the other dowel on the other side. Take your remaining dowel and trim it down to 5 inches, and then place each end of the dowel into a perpendicular block. Make sure your perpendicular blocks have the same orientation. Then go ahead and slide the perpendicular blocks down 10 millimeters, which is about 3 eighths of an inch. Then go ahead and place the dowels into the end of the perpendicular block. Go ahead and download and print the Launcher Protractor from the Teacher Geek website and then use some scissors to cut it out carefully. Place a mark 12 millimeters down, which is about half an inch. Go ahead and take your pair of pliers and place them on the half inch mark and then bend over your wire. Go ahead and punch a hole in the top of the Launcher Protractor where the hole is marked out using the wire you just bent. Then place the wire in the hole so that the longer end is facing outwards. Place a piece of tape onto your launcher protractor and then go ahead and tape it onto the 6 inch dowel. When you slide the perpendicular blocks up and down on the dowels, the metal wire will move and the angle finder will now read the angle that you're shooting at. You've completed the base, now let's go ahead and build the launcher assembly. There are many different types of launchers to build, I'm going to show you one, but you don't have to follow it, you can go ahead and design your own. Cut two pieces of connector strips that are 32 millimeters, which is about an inch and a quarter. You want the connector strip piece to have four holes. Take your rubber bands and loop them through both ends of the connector strip. Cut a piece of wire to 64 millimeters, which is about two and a half inches. Take your piece of wire and bend it into a U and then place both ends through the center holes of your connector strip. 
twist both ends together. And also twist the other side together. And go ahead and bend down the little tab so that one side is flat. And there you go. Just go ahead and slide the rubber bands over the larger dowels. Now to build the release mechanism. Take the other connector strip you cut and place a screw through and tighten it down. Then place a stop clip on and screw it all the way down until it touches the connector strip. Then go ahead and add a number 10 hex nut. And then finally, attach a locking nut. Grab the locking nut with a pair of pliers and then use the number two stubby screwdriver to tighten it down. Then take that and place the remaining screw through a bottom hole of your hole plate and add a locking nut onto the bottom of that. Again, use a pair of pliers and a number two screwdriver to tighten it down. But don't tighten it down enough that you can't turn it. You want to be able to have the mechanism move freely. Your launcher is complete. Now see how far it will shoot. Maybe change up the mechanism or the angle it's shooting at. See what happens.